Let's say we are using Blender's video sequence editor, and we want to add an image sequence, or a movie clip like this. We'll see that the clip fits perfectly within the render region, which is expected. But if we want to now change the output resolution to any other value, we'll discover that the clip gets truncated on both sides, instead of resizing. So if we want to render this in 720p, we'll see that the clip is truncated on all sides, instead of resizing. There are two ways to handle this correctly. In the first method, under the transform section, we have to change these scale factors as suitable, to fit it within the window. But it can be a bit difficult, as you need to experiment with this for the perfect value. You need to visually compare the boundaries to ensure a perfect fit. So there is a second method, but let's first undo the changes that we have done here. Now remove the clip or the image sequence and finalize the resolution here. We can either change it manually or select some preset values, but remember that we cannot change it later, it's final. Now we can add back the same media file or the movie clip once again, and we see that it fits perfectly into the desired resolution without any manual adjustments. So you can use any of these two methods to change the output resolution in Blender's video sequence editor. I hope you like this quick tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.